Good morning and welcome to today's reflection and the reflection is based on Luke chapter 22 starting at verse 39. So off they went, Jesus headed as usual for the Mount of Olives and his disciples followed him. When he came to the place he said to them, pray that you won't come into the trial. He then withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down to pray. Father, he said, if you wish it, please take this cup away from me. But it must be your will, not mine. An angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthened him. By now he was in agony, and he prayed very fervently, and his sweat became like clots of blood falling on the ground. Then he got up from praying, and came to the disciples and found them asleep because of sorrow. Why are you sleeping? He said to them. Get up and pray, so that you won't come into the trial. And we thank God for that word. So I love the Bible readings that make up Holy Week in our calendar, Palm Sunday through to Easter Sunday. Between the Last Supper and the arrest of Jesus gives a great insight into the very human experiences of Jesus and his close relationship with his disciples. In this passage, Jesus leaves his disciples on the Mount of Olives telling them to pray so that he won't come into the trial. This trial that is going to happen, it is for Jesus alone. It is only Jesus that can confront the forces of darkness. The disciples' time will come later. Jesus prays to his Father, and in praying to his Father, he reveals to us the fear he is feeling. But Jesus knows that he must face this task and he receives encouragement from his Father in heaven. In this moment, Jesus identifies himself with us. What makes us fearful? When we feel alone, when we face darkness and despair. Jesus understands. He recognises this fear that is within us. And the great news in all this is that we, we are not alone. We do not have to suffer this fear alone. We have God, we have Jesus, and we also have each other. We cannot ignore our fears. We must face them as Jesus did. And he is with us through all this. And he is with us always. And I'll just read a couple of verses from the wonderful Isaiah. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Amen.